In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom background as well as an animated background to your Google Jamboards. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. My name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. We're going to jump into Jamboard. Now, if you're new to Google Jamboard, there are some links in that description below to other videos I've made on how to use Google Jamboard. But what we're going to be doing today is creating our own background by app smashing. Now, the two apps that we're smashing together are Jamboard by Google and Canva. So let's go ahead and dive onto our computer. So I'm going to start by creating a brand new Jamboard. Let's click on that plus in the bottom right corner. And there we go. And we now have a new jam. We're going to give it a title, background demo, and then click on OK. Now we can add our own custom backgrounds by going to the top and clicking on set background. You can see we have a number of default backgrounds. We have dots, blue lined paper, and a number of other backgrounds right here. Now we can also add our own custom background by clicking on the image button. Now the image button gives us a number of different options, one of those being to upload your own file. Now this is great if you have images already on your device. And here you can see you can simply browse, use a URL, use your laptop or device's camera, use Google Images, you can also use your Google Drive or Google Photos. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to use Canva. Now, Canva is going to allow us to create our own image and also to animate that background image. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open a second tab, leave that Jamboard tab open, and let's navigate to Canva. So let's go ahead and navigate to canva.com. Here, go ahead and create your account, log in as you would usually do, and then we're going to create a brand new design. So once logged in, simply click on create a design and then we're going to go to custom size. Now the size for our Jamboard that we're going to need is 1920 by 1080. So we're going to choose 1920 by 1080 pixels. Let's create a new design. This gives us our canvas and this is what we can now work with. So what we're going to do first is title this file, animated background, Jamboard. Now that we have that, we can start adding some of these examples here. Now I'm going to add in a photo, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to search for some hills. Got a beautiful photo of a hill. Here we go, we're going to put these hills right there, make that image slightly larger. And now to make our lesson a little bit more fun, we're going to add some animations. Now again, use your creativity, make it fit your Jamboard lesson. So here we're going to go to Elements. I'm going to look for some arrows. And we're going to look for some animated arrows. You can see we have these animated arrows here. I'm going to drag that one over there, make it a bit smaller. That allows our students to see what I'm pointing to. I'm also going to add in this one. There we go. Make it a bit smaller. I'm going to rotate that. We're going to move it up. Now we're going to go to some animated text. Let's go. There we go. I'm going to add in that super at the top. And we're done. Now, if you wanted to add in any other types of animations, simply use some GIF or GIF files and pop them onto that same wallpaper. Once happy, you can go to the top. We're going to click on download and we're going to download it as a GIF or GIF. Now, while you're here in the comment section, hashtag GIF or GIF. Let me know which team you're part of and we're going to download that file. Once this has been downloaded, we can go back to the tab with Jamboard. Let's go ahead and open up our Jamboard. Here we go. And it says you can drop your file into this box. That's exactly what we're going to do. We have our file at the bottom. So let's go ahead and pick it up drag it in. This is going to be uploaded to Jamboard. We have our picture right here. The background is popped into Jamboard. You can see those animations are already starting to run. It is part of Jamboard. That means that I can use these sticky notes. Let's go ahead and put some sticky notes onto our Jamboard. Here we have an idea. We're going to do this in blue and then prototype. Let's go ahead and save that as well. There we go. We can move them around, resize everything. And this now becomes part of an animated Jamboard and your students can collaborate on this. Now, let's say that you want multiple instances of this single slide. 
go to the top, click on that little drop down arrow, and then on those three dots, you will get the option to duplicate. When you duplicate an existing slide within Jamboard, it automatically duplicates that wallpaper as well as the post-its. So let's go ahead and change this. Let's say person one, change the color. And then here we have person two. And we again change the color. As you can see from that page browser, these two are now completely different, but they're using the same animated background. Now, I hope you found this helpful for even more on Jamboard. Find those links in the description below, click on one of the suggested videos, and do let me know in that comment section below, how are you using Jamboard within your classrooms? And how are you using Google Jamboard to make your lessons more interactive, more engaging, and have your students collaborate with each other? In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.